Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I just want to give you a quick demonstration on how to use Clean My Mac. And one thing I wasn't aware of is they also have a version called Clean My PC, which is for, you guessed it, Windows-based PCs. I didn't even know they had this. I really don't pay much attention to what goes on in the world of Windows, and I probably should. But uh, here, I'll have links to this in the description below the video. You can see they have a free download, the Buy Now button. And it's very similar to Clean My Mac in that it will clean up your Windows registry. It gets rid of um, you know extensions you don't need, uh, does some cleanup so that your PC will run faster and more efficiently. So you could check that out if you own a PC. Now I'll show you how Clean My Mac works, and it's very similar, uh, you know, Clean My PC is very similar to uh, functionality of Clean My Mac X, as they call it, or maybe you prefer 10. But uh, you just fire it up, and really all you need to do is click the Scan button right here. And as far as the Mac is concerned, it's going to look for unneeded files. Right now that's what the cleanup is. And then once it's done with this category, it will move over to uh, protection. So it's looking for vir viral threats that may be on the computer. And then once it's done doing that, it will move over to speed. And what it's going to do, it's going to look at things that it could do to help speed up my Mac. Now, um, as far as clean my PC, I never really used it, but I'm assuming it's very similar. I don't think it has protection. I didn't notice that on the screen here as you look at it. So it may not have like the virus protection uh, functionality, but it does have registry maintenance. And from my days of using a PC, the registry was always getting uh, gopped up and that was always a problem. So as far as Clean My Mac is concerned, you can see it's done with the scan. Now, it hasn't really done anything to uh, clean anything yet. It's telling you what's going on. Uh, first of all is the general cleanup, removing unneeded junk. You can see once it gets rid of that, it's going to free up 16 gigabytes on my computer. And it's showing that there's no really uh, potential threats on my computer. And it will do three tasks uh, to improve speed. Now, if you want to review what this cleanup entails, you could click on review details and it will show you exactly what it's going to be getting rid of. Uh, user cache files, system cache files, some language files. Uh, you know, most often, most of us just speak one language or use one language on our computer at least. And when you install new applications, often the application will have multiple language support within that application. And you really just need your English if you speak English or whatever language you speak. So it will um, save a lot of space by getting rid of those extra language files. Uh, user log files, system log files, document versions. Then in your email, uh, there's a lot of attachments that it no longer needs. The attachments are usually at the server anyway, so you don't need them on your local computer. So it will get rid of any attachments. Now, if you don't want to get, do that, if you want to keep those attachments, you could just click that checkbox and turn off that check mark, and then you'll be keeping those attachments. And then it's going to empty my trash. You can see I have 12.3 megabytes uh, in my trash. And then I'll just click Run down here at the bottom. So it's really a two-step process. Uh, you click Scan. It will scan your computer, find all those issues. Then click Run, and it will take care of it. And one thing that it will uh, need, it will need all your browsers to be closed. And you can see I have the Safari web browser open. Uh, so I'll close that. And then it will go now and do its thing. So now it's just cleaning up everything that it said it was going to clean up. Uh, this might take a little while. As you can see how fast it did the scan, usually the cleanup is usually about the same length of time. So right now it's uh, getting rid of that system junk, and you can see that the gigabyte counter is going up as it's getting rid of all those gigabytes of junk. And then it's going to run maintenance scripts, uh, whatever that entails, uh, to um, hopefully uh, have the computer run a little faster, flush DNS cache, and then the free up RAM. That all should go very quickly. This is the slowest step right here. You can see that it's almost done. 
And actually, it's a little bit uh, processor intensive because I could hear my fan on my computer kicking on while it's doing this. And the fan on my um, iMac rarely goes on. So that is probably some um, fairly intensive um, processing right there to take care of that. So we'll let it do its thing. It should be done. There it goes. Now it's going to run those maintenance scripts. It's going to flush the DNS cache. And it's going to free up the RAM. Sometimes the free up RAM takes a little while. I'm not really sure what it does when it frees up RAM. But especially if you have a computer with a lot of RAM. I think this computer has 32 gigabytes of RAM. So that may take a little while. All right. It just finished. And there you see. Uh, it's telling us that we... Uh, got rid of 15.96 gigabytes of junk, uh, did the deep scan, nothing was found, and it did three tasks to help speed up my Mac. So that's Clean My Mac 10 or X if you prefer. And as I mentioned, they have a Clean My PC version. They have a free trial as you saw. I'll have all that linked in the description below this video so you could check it out. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.